Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Weather Academy. I'm meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. And as most of you know, uh, if you watch our Weather Academy, at least uh, when I do it, I like to uh, talk about the current events and the current weather, uh, you know, current things that happen in weather and uh, to see how the weather and all of the uh, types of different pressure systems and uh, how all the weather elements come together to uh, give us the kind of weather that we have. Okay, Now, we've had uh, such a uh, cold start to May, but we're finally transitioning into uh, warmer weather. This happened last year, and a lot of it has to do with the upper-level systems here. So uh, first of all, uh, what do we need to make that warm weather? Well, of course, we do have the clear skies. Now, uh, again, this uh, right now is... Uh, Here's a picture here uh, from Conneaut Lake. Uh, we call it the Channel Lock Weather Cam in Conneaut Lake. Blue skies. So clear skies are needed because clouds uh, during the day, uh, the clouds reflect the visible rays of the sun. And it's the visible rays that actually help uh, really warm up the planet here. We do get ultraviolet rays. And yes, those are uh, definitely important. Uh, the visible rays, those would actually give us the heat. So when you have clouds around, that tends to keep the heat down. Uh, when you uh, combine that, the other thing uh, we like to have, I mean, if we really want the warm air, we always look at the dew points. Now, uh, the dew points are a measure of how much moisture is in the air. Uh, the lower the dew point, uh, the drier the air becomes. So dew points, we, you know, we start to think of the air getting humid when the dew points are 60. So you can see here, the dew points here right now are in the lower to mid 40s. So that is very dry air. And you might think that humid air actually heats faster, but dry air actually heats more quickly than humid air. So if you really want the temperature to move up fast, you like the dry air. Now, make no mistake, it gets very warm when it's humid. Uh, let, let's, let's be clear on that, because a lot of the same elements that bring us the heat also bring us humidity. But uh, if you can keep the humidity out while still building the heat, uh, it goes faster. When you add dry air, you really allow uh, the heat to come in more quickly. So we have that going for us, and that's why we're looking at uh, these warmer temperatures. But most importantly, we want to look at uh, the upper level pattern. So um, you recall, uh, again, just kind of the basics here. Recall that uh, we have uh, ridges and troughs. This is the jet stream, and uh, we look at the jet stream in general uh, to help us determine, uh, you know, the basic characteristics of the atmosphere. Any dips like this are considered troughs, and the center of the trough is the L, the low pressure. Uh, any mound looking, or these are ridges, and uh, you can, you know, kind of the uh, hilltop look here. Now, uh, I'm recording this on Tuesday, so this was actually uh, yesterday's look. And we had a nice ridge over the region. In fact, if you look closely at the actual winds, you know, these, we call them streamlines, you see that there is a nice little ridge right here. It goes south and then north toward us. So that ridge. Uh, helps compress the air. High pressure means a lot of pressure. When you compress the air, you make it warmer. Now, a lot of our weather uh, from earlier in the month, uh, we had troughs over us. The troughs, less pressure, the air cools much more, and the troughs allow, uh, think of the trough as kind of pouring cold air into it. So uh, we had that cold air pouring in, and the cold air drains out of a ridge and allows the warmer air to come in. So uh, as we put this into motion, uh, we'll show you how things are looking as we head on toward uh, Wednesday, which is today. And uh, I'm sure here, we'll put this over just a bit. Now you see the ridge gets bigger. Uh, when that ridge gets bigger, that means it is getting stronger. And uh, that allows even for more compression of the air. And uh, you know that is also going to allow for uh, temperatures to go up. So uh, today, Wednesday, uh, temperatures could, should very well hit 80 degrees. And that's certainly some good news. Now let's head on uh, one more day into Thursday, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Watch as the high pre or the high pressure. We call that retrograding. 
anytime a high uh, or any weather system moves to the west, because weather systems usually move from west to east, anytime it moves toward the west, we call that a retrograde. Uh, so how does that affect our weather? Well, the center of the high moves west. What happens, even though we are under a ridge, sometimes little waves, we call them vorticity, little spins in the atmosphere. And these spins can help draw air up. And if there's moisture in the air, that can be a problem. So notice, look at how the, look at how the circulation goes. We have the air coming out of the Gulf of Mexico down here. And it's going, now of course, Gulf of Mexico, very moist area. So now we're going to find that moisture going up, and it just follows the winds. Now, notice uh, on Thursday, the following the winds, it could set off some showers and storms late Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. Now, the trend, uh, you can see with the arrows here, uh, the trend would be toward the storms to hit more of the center part of the state. But if you look closely at the streamlines, you find that uh, there's a possibility that some of those could clip us here in northwestern Pennsylvania. So that's why when you look at the big picture, you also have to look at some of the, you have to look at it very closely because it's very easy to say, oh, big high pressure here. We're going to have great weather, no problems. But uh, as meteorologists, we have to look at the little things within the big picture. And uh, well, I'm not saying it's an all day rain for Thursday. Um, you know, we could, uh, there is a wave that's going to move along the flow. And if that Gulf moisture can get enough circulated in, and it might, uh, Thursday, uh, don't be surprised if you hear some rain or even a rumble of thunder. Uh, right now, it looks best for the morning and midday hours. Uh, we'll see if that holds. And then what will happen is eventually, uh, because this pattern is going to hold steady for the next several days. Uh, and really for uh, the rest of the week, you see, I believe I have uh, an actual graphic of that. There we go. That high pressure is going to hang around the area. So as more of that Gulf moisture circulates in, we're going to have higher dew points, a lot more moisture. And that is, and that is going to lead toward uh, those scattered storms that we often get. Uh, in the summertime, along with temperatures well up into the 80s. So enjoy the next several days. It looks actually next several weeks. It looks like we're going to be in a nice warm weather pattern, a far cry from what we had at the beginning of the month. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your day.